In this video, we'll be building the Automal Habit Tracker in Notion. We'll be using buttons and charts to make habit tracking more fun and help us better visualize our progress. The template link is down in the description below, so feel free to check it out at the end of this video. Now let's get right into building the Automate Habit Tracker. You'll start by opening an empty page in Notion, and turn it into full width and give it a page name and icon. You'll create a calendar database view, give it a name, and hide the database title. I'll rename this to weekly and change the layout of the calendar to week. Then, we are going to creating and editing a new page template. We'll add a page name and icon. Then, I'll delete this default property called tags. Next, we'll add a checkbox property for each habit we want to track. We'll label each checkbox property as a habit and pick an icon to represent that habit. We'll then repeat the same for as many habits we want to track. Next, we'll add a progress bar to measure the completion of our daily habits. We do this by adding a formula property, which I will name it progress, and pick an icon to represent it. Next, we'll click into edit formula, and add a formula to add out all the checkbox property, and then divide them by the number of habits we have. Lastly, we'll round up the result of this formula to one decimal place. We'll now go back into editing the property, and update the number format to percent and show this formula property as a progress bar. You can then also choose your preferred color for the progress bar. Now with that done, we want to be able to pre-fill the name and icon for every newly created page. So we'll go back to the main page, and go to our page templates, and set the page we created as the default template. Now whenever we hit the plus icon on the calendar view, it will auto-fill the name, icon, and date. To check our habits off, we go into the settings of this database, and unhide the checkbox properties of our habits. On mobile view, it can be difficult to check off our habits on this calendar view. So we'll add buttons to do just that. We'll add a button block and give it the name of the habit and the respective icon. Then we'll add the edit page tab and choose our habit tracker database. We'll filter to edit only the page with today's date and set the respective checkbox property to check. We can then repeat this for as many habits we have. We can also have a button to mark all our habits as completed, so we just have to do one click at the end of the day. Moving on, we'll create a chart to visualize our progress. Firstly, open up your browser and go to Notion to Charts. You can sign up for a free account, which will allow you to create one Notion chart for free. Once you have connected your Notion workspace, Go into creating a new chart and choose the line chart. Select the habit tracker database and use the date as the x axis and the progress as the y axis. Then change the data type of the y axis to percentage. You can then customize the color of the chart. And lastly, remember to sort by the date. Now we can copy the embed link and go back into Notion. Once we are back in Notion, we will just paste the link and hit Create Embed. We will now add more examples to test out the chart. The chart should auto-update and you can also manually refresh it by clicking on the refresh icon on the top right corner. If you found this video helpful, do hit the like button below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.